hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel that channel is deb chanel's 48th world and as you know in narration voice i am deb chanel i'm taking a break today because i got a real bad head cold and i just really didn't feel like putting on a hat didn't feel like putting on my um earphones to uh dialogue with you all and talk about kenya more so i'm going back to old school um <coughs> until i get a handle on this head cold and then you'll see me gracing your screen again but then i kind of miss doing it this way as well just you all here having my narration and seeing the beautiful pictures that i have displayed for uh, my commentary but let's not tear it too long let's get on into it we're going to be talking about kenya moore and how she feels that she has a lot of haters coming for her and uh, in regards to definitely uh, the thoughts of she got exposed of wearing a front lace wig or whatnot. And, you know, I don't understand why she got so terribly, um, what do you call it, upset about it. Because who don't know that Kenya has long, almost to her butt hair. We all know that. She's shown it on social media. It's very beautiful. But it's not that thick voluptuous type hair and even caucasian women here asian women um they have to add a little bit more to get that full bodyness. you know like we back in the 80s with all that hairspray and the hair just out there like woof, you know what i'm saying so i think every not everybody but some people just got offended to kenya as you know she went over there tomorrow uh event on season 12 one of these episodes i think it was shoot two or three or four and uh she just made a mockery out of um marlo marlo's hamptons event when she was displaying wigs and all of this and kenya moore just barged in with her four piece woman man band and you know just try to make a mockery out of the whole deal of her event you know we knew bravo was behind that because i know kenya ain't got that much gumption to come in on somebody's platform and uh try to interrupt them and it wasn't because the producers had said oh yeah come on in it's gonna be good drama if it was really marlo's planned event and they weren't anticipating you know leading up drama Kenya wouldn't stand in a chance with coming in now. Somebody would have blocked her behind right at that door like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? This is a private event. If you are on the guest list, you got to leave that four-piece woman band out in the parking lot. Okay? So, we knew production was pretty much uh, in the midst of uh, Kenya coming in with her little band and upset Marlo and her wig event. But, you know, like I said, everybody knows that Kenya hair. But, see, Kenya hair is not that full. Uh, I mean, she probably could get it that way, but the curls won't stay. So she has to add hair. You know what I'm saying? So it just is what it is. Everybody who had eyes to see could see that. But maybe we had some uh, people that were just absent-minded or something, and they think Kenya's hair is just that full and gorgeous, you know, all the time. Now, it's full, but it ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? She's not going to get that hair to do that. She had to have added something to it. And that's just is what it is, okay? But going and get into this article that Celebrity um, Insider brought out. Our guy Ron Collins is over there hashing those salacious stories out for um, people on social media. Um, topics, hot trending topics. He wrote one on Kenya Moore about addressing her haters and this whole wig and front lace and extensions uh, garbage, she calls it. Um because, you know, she kind of put herself out there in a sense while she was talking about healthy hair, growing it, and her products that she uses definitely would play a huge part of growing natural care for loving, um, uh, nice grade of hair that you'll uh, be getting if you used her products and stuff. So, with that said, she pretty much gave the illusion that that's the only thing you had to do was use her products and your hair is going to grow and be uh, volumeless and, um, what do you call it, shiny and, and just really healthy hair. And that's not to say it couldn't have been, but shoot, even Kim Zosiak wear wigs and I'm pretty sure her hair is nice. Uh, Tanya wears wigs and you, we can already see her hair is nice. And with Kenya just not really 
coming to out in the public eye and just telling people, yes, I wear protective styles sometimes. You don't really see my hair. Uh, on a, some occasions, I do wear wigs. I do wear extensions. But it's nothing like having your own natural glowing, glowing growing tresses, meaning hair, to... Um, take hold of too and let people see how natural your hair is and how long it is and you know the healthy aspects so i think kenya shouldn't have been playing one or the other she should have been playing both fields like it's good to is to wear protective styling accessories like wigs and extensions and add on add in so is temporarily if you're going to be wearing tearing on your hair um on a daily basis then yeah Put some money towards that but because we all know that ain't can you have right there that's some added hair people but anyway um you know she should have been on board with both concepts wearing wigs extensions or whatever for protective styling of your hair and then saying oh but you got to protect your hair if you really want that long voluminous look and shiny and healthy hair try my products they may work out pretty good for you and your uh growth to having uh great hair um or healthy hair i should say underneath whatever protective styles you want to wear on occasion that's how she should have presented it because she made people uh she made some people believe that she was wearing her hair all the time every day and all that and she didn't um let them know that she wasn't wearing her hair when the times that she wasn't wearing her hair like to me that could have been a wig right there you know what i'm saying and it was gorgeous it was pretty and you know but can can you just want you to see one side of her she thinks she's perfect and everything she's flawless and everything and she don't want people to see her imperfections but that's not reality that's not life and that's not an individual person you know what i'm saying but anyway let's go and see what ron collins had put out on celebrity insider regarding this story he brought out on kenya moore addresses hair haters on real housewives of atlanta who are in full force check out her message okay it goes on to say things are getting pretty dramatic on real housewives of atlanta once again kenya moore has a few words to share about all this on her social media account check out her recent post below hashtag by wigs tune in tonight to real housewives of atlanta on bravo uh and she gets the time to see hashtag wig gate the hair haters are out in full force yes a black chocolate woman can achieve waist length hair protective styles weaves non-lace front wigs buns braids twist outs natural hair etc are helpful to keep heat styles and chemicals from further damaging your hair can you begin her post well my sidebar can you that's the perfect example you should have gave when you came out talking about your natural hair products and how to care for your natural hair on a daily basis you should have said hey ladies we got it going on we can do all of it we just need to maintain it with a good regimen uh, with washing your hair moisturizing your hair and using less protective style on your hair or styling accessories on your hair from time to time then she could say you can still wear wigs and look beautiful you could still wear extensions da -da -dee, da -da -da, but don't forget to do your daily daily regiments of using my hair care products because you will see a world of difference now see that's how she should have presented it and i don't think she would have had any haters coming for her uh none some none so whatever everybody would have been embracing her because even i would have been embracing her but see i already knew kenya wore extensions and and um wigs and and add-ons okay i just knew it just because it's me you know what i'm saying i look at people i you know i see the lens sometimes they be wearing and kenya ain't trying to cut off her hair for nobody okay she can grow it down to her toes if you want to but no and she wore some styles that were like shortcut bobs and some of them were like shoulder length i'm like can you ain't uh cut all that 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 pretty hair off no she did and so she just gives you the illusion of what she wants you to see and of course she's gonna claim the fame that everything on her head is natural it ain't nobody adding anything and see that's where she kind of got off key with other people that were supporting her okay but going back to the article it says she continued and told her followers if you want free tips on how to properly care for your hair and products that help grow it longer and healthier check out 
at Kenya Moore Hair or go to at Sally Beauty for products that actually work. Hashtag Kenya Moore, hashtag hair, and etc. Okay, and then it goes on to say one commenter getting the commenters in her um feed and they're saying shake those haters off bald-headed scallywags and got no hair in the back gel up weave up they hair is a mess and then they got hooked noses like a bird pair to stop look for some fish and their men looking for fish somewhere else that's what the cookie crumbles I don't know what that commenter was talking about because it seemed like she hating more so on other people that's trying to do the right thing about their hair, trying to take up for Kenyan. And that's just my point intended. Uh, but another fan of hers posted, I need to try your products, attempting to get hair on my waistline and someone else wrote, ignore the noise, hashtag queen. That's all they have to do is gossip about. You always protect your hair. Now, it's, it's cool that that commenter said that because we all should try to protect our hairs and wear protective styling sometimes. That is a good point. Okay, another commenter said, uh, gorgeous, you're my fave, no nonsense queen. I'm so glad you've been blessed with your beautiful baby girl. You're now an unstoppable force. Sky is the limit, girl. Grab it by the horns. You're in for a wild ride 2020. Then it says, earlier today, we reported that Kenya shared a motivational video on her social media account, which was loved by her fans okay and that's pretty much it was about that article like i said ken did that damage to herself if she would have just strictly came out and said hey guys i have my hair i've shown y'all my hair my hair is long it's healthy and i love it but sometimes i do have to wear protective styles because i don't want any damage to come to my glory my hair my crown okay that's all she could have said and she could have just not been in the media where everybody was kind of coming for her or uh, for her fakeness or whatnot but kenya's gonna always do kenya she loves the limelight she can take press good or bad she can handle it all you know what i'm saying she's that type of chick but that's all i have for this video guys y'all let me know what y'all thought about kenya addressing who she called or her haters because she got caught or exposed wearing a wig and that wasn't part of her motif of the healthy care Kenyan hair products hairline but it just is what it is y'all get down in them comments y'all tell me what y'all thought about it because we fam over here we discuss things intellectually and we give our reasoning and logic to why we came to our opinions so y'all get down in them comments express yourself just do it respectfully and i will see you next video but also if you don't mind please subscribe to my channel and share and like all my videos thank you guys bye bye